Hey guys, you're watching because you want and only. My name is AJ. I'm doing amazingly. <laughs> we are back. Oh no, we are back on another episode of uh, <laughs> Let's Build a Theme Park. I can't remember what episode we're on. Ah, oh, I was doing really, really well. It's all gone to pot. Uh, today we're going to be doing a small mini game that a subscriber was sort of mentioning in the comments section. I don't know if uh, another YouTuber has done it or if it is a, a common mini game. I haven't really seen it, uh, but basically. Uh, in short, a chicken falls from the sky, and you have to try and use snowballs to try and keep it in the air for as long as possible. Now, I didn't know that you could do this. It's something new to me. Uh, so I gave it a quick go. All I had was a very simple setup, something like this. And it is possible. You can actually do it. The only trouble is, is it's incredibly hard. Like, it's as difficult as that. It seems to be this area is like the really hard mini games. Uh, let's turn that off. It's, uh, it's a bit of a little bit of uh, lag that could potentially occur. Uh, so let's give this a go. If I do this and then come down. And then what you got to do is you've got to try and keep them up. Now, when you hit them, they go like shooting away. I, I've got five. There's five. Six. Seven, eight, no, ah, oh. <laughs> eight, eight snowballs is my best so far. Before that, it was only four, and then he hit the ground, and like I wasn't quick enough. Uh, so it's a really cool, simple mini game. Now, if you've got two players, it could potentially be a really, really cool thing to try and do. But what I want to do is potentially make it a little bit easier. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to put down. A box here. Um, let's not do it like that. Let's do it like, well, yeah, let's do it like that. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to move that button anyway, aren't I? Uh, this is just a, a very, very basic setup. But what I'm going to do is do a 2x2 a two two area so that the chicken can't quite go crazy far. Uh, so we'll come down here and down here. And maybe this will just make it. I don't know, a little bit more doable. I think I got really lucky with that first test trial of eight. I'm sure if you got really good at it, you could probably do better. Uh, but I'm not that good, unfortunately. So let's grab some uh, redstone torches here. We shall put a... Oops. A button on there. Um, no, let's put a button behind here. Just to make it easier for ourselves. And then just have some wiring coming up here. Do, do, do. Torches on there. That's probably going to fire a chicken, isn't it? Oops. There, there. Yeah, it fired a chicken, but that doesn't matter. Die, chicken. Okay, so let's give this a go. We hit it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. This might make it too easy. Because I think I could probably keep him there in limbo forever. <laughs> now, uh, apparently that uh, some people say that snowballs will actually kill animals. I asked this back. Is he going up? He is. Um, I asked back in Zonocraft if snowballs kill animals. And pretty much all of you said that they do. Uh, I've never managed to do it. And I've packed in a lot of snowballs into this guy now. I know they flash red. As if they were taking damage, but I just don't think that they do. I think it's just a, a visual indication that you've hit it. Because uh, I'm pretty sure if the chicken was going to die, it would have died by now. But that makes it way, way too easy. <laughs> what a shot. That makes it way, way too easy. So I think we do want it in an open room. Is there anything that we can do, though, to make the mini game a little bit more exciting? A little bit more different to what we would usually have? Uh, or, or, or what the basic premise uh, behind it is. Maybe, uh, can we do it so there's a way to know if you've lost or not against another player? Uh, I reckon we can. And I reckon I know how we can do that as well. So we can indicate who wins and who loses. So there's no cheating involved. We'll use tripwire hooks for that. Um, so what would be... Well, we don't really want corners if possible unless we're going to make it a nice large area because as, as we saw as soon as the chicken gets into a corner suddenly it's uh it's <laughs> incredibly easy you could last forever uh so let's have 
player one there, and then player two would be like here, a little bit further away, and then have a wall down the middle, maybe? Have a wall down the middle, and if you're then good enough to get it into the corner, then you should win. Yeah, I think that's fair, isn't it? Okay, so uh, let me... What colour do we want to use for this area? What, what, like, quartz? Or what sort of blocks? Clay? Like, striped clay of different colours? Hold on. Let's, um, white clay. And what colour are the chickens? The chickens are brown in this texture pack. So let's have white, brown, and red. Because that's the sort of chicken, chicken colours. Maybe some yellow as well. Because they've got yellow beaks, haven't they? And we could have a red... And then two white, and then a brown, and then two white, and then a yellow, two white. Just see. Oh, and then maybe another brown. And then, oh, no, 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 no. And then two white, and then a red. Oh, no, we're still not quite at the top. All right. Um, let's have another. All right, let's make this red then. And then brown. Yeah, that works out right, doesn't it? So that'll be good. Let me just make a big box, basically. And then we'll be back for the next part, okay? I shall be right back. Alright, just the last couple of layers to do. I really like the colour scheme. For some reason, when I see this, these sets of colours, I think of two things. I think of one, a Minecraft chicken. And I think of two... An ice cream that I'm sure I used to eat when I was younger. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it was, but for some reason, it reminds me of an ice cream. White, yellow, red, and brown. Those four colours. Definitely reminds me of an ice cream. But anyway, I've left the middle blank at, in the likely possibility that we're just going to put gr uh, glass. Out the middle, so we can actually see into the opponent's side. I think that would be pretty cool. These are a 17 by 17 square. Completely unintentional. Uh, but works out to be perfect. Because I'm going to change the location of the... Uh, what do you call it? Of the hop... Uh, the, blah, blah, dispenser. I know what I'm talking about. Of the dispenser here. I think I want to go for a wooden ceiling and floor. Oh, i got hiccups. For a wooden ceiling and floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the middle. And then knock out the middle one. Uh, like so. And then grab this one. It's such a simple idea. The episode might be quite short. But I really wanted to have a play around with it. Because I just thought it was a pretty cool... Um, I don't know, idea for a little mini game. So we can activate it from the middle, which makes it much more unlikely that we'll ever get the chicken into the corner, I think. I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but the way that we can actually get uh, an idea of how where everybody is, is I'm thinking on every coloured one, we put every coloured line, we put down the, uh, the break in the wall. We can have glass between it. So we'll have a brown one in here. And then, where am I there? And then a red one in here. And on these beams, I'm going to put, uh, hopefully, tripwire hooks with string. Okay? Now, I don't think, I might be wrong here, but my first guess is that the string won't be affected by a snowball going through it. I think potentially with an arrow, it might. I don't know. But I don't think with a string, um, or with a snowball, uh, so we're going to grab that, and we're going to grab some string, and then I'm going to grab some snowballs here as a test run. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put these down the side. Can I put... Yeah, I can. Wonderful. I'm going to put these down the side, down there, and down there, and we might be able to tell where the other person is. You know, you might be able to see, uh, I see that light just uh, just lit up. So that means that he must be, uh, you know, this high off the ground. And I think we could probably get a really cool sort of look from this. So I just need to line up this string here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one level. And then we'll do some testing to make sure that it all is playing out how we want. Like that one. I don't use tripwire hooks enough. We've had them for such a long time. 
and I, I think the only time that I've used them, I'm pretty sure the only time that I've used them is in Zonocraft for our parkour training. And it's not a very good use for them. In fact, it's a pretty useless use for them, really. It doesn't even work the way I originally wanted it to. It does the job. Uh, but if we can actually find a, a few more uses for these, and that's going to be great. By the way, uh, a lot of you, the most common suggestion in the comments section for this series is to make a moon coaster. When slime blocks come out, whenever they do, whenever slime blocks come out, I have so much... So much plan for slime blocks. We can do some fantastically cool... Uh, excellent, look at that. We can make some fantastically cool... Um, uh, what would you call them? Um, roller coasters, mini games, anything. I'm going to put redstone down the side here. So they all light up instead of just like the three that are nearby. If we put, them, if we put redstone on top, you won't be able to see it because you're below it. But it light them all up that way as well. Now, can I chuck a snowball through? I, I can't. No. Actually, that could be very, very interesting. Because what if we made it so, just make sure I've got the right one. Let's try and make it so you've only got an area that you can shoot through. Like this, three by three area. And you have to stand in the middle to shoot the the uh, chicken. Because if you go underneath it, they don't go through. I really like that idea too. I really, really like that idea, in fact. Now, I think what we're going to do that have to do, though, is put in... Can I put these in here? Yeah. Put this around the side. Or maybe... um. Uh, the, what do you call them? These ones. <laughs> Redstone lamps. What do you call them? These ones. Um, oh, I need to go bigger, don't I? Like this. To make, uh, well, that'll be a 2x2. Two two. That's not what I want. I want a 3x3 three three in the middle. So we could do something like this. Oh, experimenting. Whoops. I didn't want to delete that one. And then along here. Such a... I, I really want this to work. I'm just not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet. Uh, I just like playing about with an idea. And then letting it grow into something really, really cool. That's the. That's how we always like it to work anyway. Okay, wonderful. And then redstone can come around here. Now that means, unfortunately, that I can't do this layered idea... All the way up, because if we do it all the way up, we've, we're only going to have this area to shoot through. And after one or two snowballs, the chicken's going to go into an area that we can't hear, hit. But at least like this, you get quite the range. Like, we can get all the way down there. Yeah, I'm about there to hit one more, which is just above. And I like that. And obviously when we when we hit the uh, uh, these ones over here. All of those ones light up, and if we hit the ones in the middle, everything lights up. So, it'll it'll be fine for what we need. Let's give it a test run. Let's see if we can get this to work. So, let's have a red stoops, a redstone lead. Just very, very basically for the moment. I've got a sneeze coming, so I warn you. Achoo! 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 I'm fine. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So he flew out. Let's um, kill him off because I wasn't ready. And I do have a button, or I will have a button, right on there for the moment. We can have a, a, a neutral button that's shared between the two sides to make it fair. <laughs> there we go. Nice little delay. Oh, two, three. Oh, oh, I got three and then he fell to the floor. Now, is that enough time? Oh, no, don't give him f speed. No, 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 not that. <laughs> is that enough time? I'm not sure. It was my first go, so maybe I wasn't as good as what we could be. One, two. Oh, oh, I can. Two seems to be a good record. The lights are working well, at least. Get out of here. Did I hit it? One. 
two. Ah, uh, I could have got, I could have got four. Pretty sure if I could have got four then. One. Two. No. Ah, oh, I just missed. Like three seems to be be the hardest, but we can go higher if we wanted to. If we made this another fifty percent taller, maybe that would be easier. Let me do that. Let me add a few more layers, and I'll be back. Okay, so I've extended it by another red, brown, and yellow. Oh, and the redstone just needs to be along the top. Uh, I've I've got an idea, okay? As a proof of concept, this is working quite well. Uh, you're going to have to die, aren't you? Uh, as a proof of, co of concept, it's working. Like, we, we know that it's at least possible uh, to keep a chicken up in the air. But the, I, I think the problem is this tripwire hook situation. I don't think that this is the right answer. We're going to give it another go with this more height. And see if we get a better... Oh, one. Oh, it's so much harder. Two. Three. Oh, back off, back off. Now, it's still only three. I think what we're going to do is remove the trip wire hooks and the lights. I don't think that this is working. I think this is what's causing us the trouble of the game. Not quite running how we want to. We don't need to worry about chickens landing on these bits as well. Because we will eventually have... Um, what do you call it? A glass in between. So that's not something that I'm really worried about. Uh, so instead, I still want a way to know when you win or lose. And maybe even somehow uh, stop the game or a sound indication. You know, we could use um, uh, note blocks or, or anything like that to, to give some sort of indication of who won and who's lost. But instead of using tripwire hooks, I think pressure plates might be the best plan. Now, originally, that was my idea to use pressure plates instead of tripwire hooks but then i thought oops but then i thought tripwire hooks could work uh because we could do them on the way down you know like how we've done but that didn't work out now if we're going to use pressure plates then i'm going to make it so you're not allowed to move just like how we sort of had a minute ago where we couldn't move uh, or we could only aim through that three by three but now if we made the middle like white yes yeah, the middle we made the middle white, so we stand here, and we have pressure plates around all of the other blocks when the chickens land on it. They obviously are going to set it off. They're going to set off a sound or a light show or fireworks or something uh, along those lines. Sorry, chickens. Or, or something along those lines. But it also gives us the ability to shoot 360 degrees no matter where it is. We should be able to hit them if we're good enough. So get back on here. One, two, he's gone over the side, three, oh, four, oh, that was a bad shot, boom, five, okay, we got five instantly just by taking that uh, center section out, I think that it, it's a good idea, we've got a, a really good concept plan here, it just needs another episode of tinkering, I think. I know this might be a, a little bit more of a shorter episode, but it has been a little bit of off-camera work doing the, the sides and stuff. But yeah, ooh, I saw a bit of string right there. Uh, if we had pressure plates all the way around it, hooked up to some fireworks, as soon as the uh, chicken touches the pressure plate, fireworks go off, indicating to the other player uh, that he's won. You know, the person that has the fireworks go off first. Uh, is the loser or something like that it's no redstone whatsoever really is it? it's very very compact we can hide that up super super simply we will need an entrance on here but that's easy enough to do and glass up the middle i just think it needs maybe an half an episode to an episode of tinkering next time but there's a few little mini games that i want to do over the next few episodes anyway so it's all tied in i also realized that i probably should have built this out at the farmyard area seeing as though chickens are very farmyard style I forgot. It's my. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I shall. Uh, I shall deal with the problem. I suppose. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. To see you in the next episode. I might do a little bit of work on it. I might not. We shall just have to see. Bye.